And Texas death row inmate Robert Robertson is set to testify to his innocence in a groundbreaking hearing at the Texas Capitol on Monday. This marks the first time a man sentenced to death will be afforded the chance to make his case directly to lawmakers. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Mudding and I'm Jennifer Sanders. Robertson was convicted in 2003 of murdering his two year old daughter, but a bipartisan majority of Texas House members are calling for him to get a new trial now that new evidence may exonerate him. Ryan Chandler reports now on the dramatic legal showdown. A Hail Mary miracle. He was shocked to say the least. Um, he praised God and he thanked his supporters. A last hour Supreme Court ruling reviving Robert Robertson's chance at life. It is very clear that he needs um, a new trial. A team of lawmakers by his side as the clock ran out on what would have been his last day. Adamant in his innocence and demanding a new trial with new medical evidence. While he is still breathing, there's still time to bring the truth to light. After over 20 years in solitary confinement, Robertson will have the biggest stage in Texas, testifying in person at the Capitol on Monday. It was made clear to us that there was no precedent for what we were doing. I want him to be able to tell his story, what his life was like prior to this, what the investigation looked like from his, through his, the lens of you know, his lens. Lawmakers are investigating whether courts are properly following Texas's 2013 junk science law, which allows for new trials in cases where scientific evidence is later found faulty. Experts say the medical records for Robertson's two-year-old daughter, Nikki, indicate she could have died of natural causes, not homicide. When we have government exercise the greatest power that it has, the power to take a life, there must be absolutely unassailable proof and no doubt that a grave and heinous crime occurred, and that's simply not the case. As Ryan Chandler reporting, Robertson could still be put to death, but the state would need to seek a new writ of execution, and that legal process could take months.